Uh, and I oh, was like, they must go to church. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I was like, oh, my God, this podcast. Yeah. Is like, this podcast. No, Don't yeah. you guys feel like when y'all go to, like, the Walmart, like, Kroger, like, everybody's staring at you? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I hope no, yeah, not, because I'd be either. looking like crazy. Yeah. I'm looking like a fool. Aren't you the girl that... No. Nope. That's not me. Not that, that yeah, right. No. <laughs> no that's... Anyway, well... This is episode 12. Thank episode guys, 12, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. We got some stuff to talk about, Blue. I have something that I want to talk about. Uh, I want to start off by saying something that I always say this to my sisters. Um, we talk about this all the time. Um, and I'm very upfront when I say things, huh? I am. A little too much. Yeah, I'm very upfront. I, I think I'm very confident when I, when I say something that I believe I'm confident. And I like you said one time, like, no tenemos pelos en la lengua, because I don't, yeah. like, I'm very open. So I tell this to my sisters all the time. I, I, this is speaking for me, I don't want it to seem like this is a Christian podcast. Like, right off the bat, I've told them plenty of times, we don't want it to seem like this is a Christian podcast and this is a Christian audience. I don't want that. I personally, um, I don't think that's, like, the vibe of us mm -hmm. and i don't want it to seem like this is a christian podcast because one day we're gonna have uh you know different religions beliefs faith you know and i want every i want this place to be like a healthy open free you safe, know yeah yeah safe, safe, place. Place. safe place so yeah. if we it's like a christian podcast people are gonna be like Ay, las cristianas and please yeah. and y'all know i have or my we're attacking own. people yeah and, and one day exactly. we're gonna talk about faith and how i view the church what i view on god you know, my God, you know, so we're going to, yeah. we're going to talk about that one day, but I, I'm, you know, I want this to be a, a place of honesty where yeah. people are yeah. safe to talk about how they feel, how right. they see, you know, we're also, there's three different ages here. Yeah. Three different points of view, perspectives. Um, and we don't necessarily always agree. We don't agree. Especially on faith. Like I noticed we have very different perspectives. Yeah. And we were raised. The we same. were raised exactly the same. Yeah, as I'm as I got older and from my experience with church, I I have a whole different view with church and God. They're two they're two different things for me. So God is one thing, God the Father, God the Creator, mm -hmm. and you know we can go into that. And I we're not gonna do that today, but um, and then the church. And when you say church, you're talking about like the church, like the place, the place. Some people not could, like the bride. The well, the bride us, and the, the church. church. Yes, the bride okay. and and the building. But even then, even that you guys see different. Mm -hmm. You you see it as the bride is the church. But blue, I think blue's. Just, I'm somewhere else. Yeah, blue's yeah. too deep in she'll, there. She'll she'll talk about that later. Yeah, but even I want to I want to know what you think. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so we want to make we want to create this place uh, yeah. safe and no judgment. I don't like. I know where I can talk. I know the conversations I'm allowed to have with certain people. I try to avoid certain conversations with people because I know they're not there. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I know when to not say anything. But when I do speak on certain subjects that are a little tough, I'm confident because I'm also confident with saying, I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I think a lot of people have trouble saying, uh, like, I don't know. They want to have the answers to everything. And yeah. sometimes it's good to just be like, I really don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? So <clears throat> with that being said, uh, this month is June. Uh, we're in June, and that's right. All over the world, I think, or is it just the United States? I like, really don't know. I feel like mm -hmm. we don't find out. I don't I know. We don't know. <laughs> the, the West. <laughs> yeah. The West is just somewhere. Yeah, and so I, I've been wanting to have this conversation because in episode ten, when we talked about get your kids. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I had mind. made a comment. So I do want to clarify that. But before we clarify that, I want to show you guys a video. And then we'll go from there. All right. I identify as a lesbian, black, female, and some people might call me a little bit masculine. With your philosophy, tell me, what does my life look like through your eyes? I don't have any 
foregone conclusions about you because I don't know you. A lot of people will try to pigeonhole you because of your identity. They will say, okay, well, you just said that you were lesbian and that you were black, and that's what I was talking about. So that means that you must support transgenderism because we added the letter onto the flag. That's wrong. I don't know you. I'd like to get to know you. I'd like to hear about your ideas. You know, People can become friends on the basis of who they actually are as individuals and not what society is demanding of you based on your sexual preference. So I have no, I have no opinion of you other than the fact that you seemed really open-minded tonight and you, you were respectful, you stayed here, you showed up to hear me. I'm sure you didn't agree with everything, but I changed your mind on other things and I think that that's absolutely heroic in today's society. Love Candace Owens, by the way. I like her. She, she's, she's like, she's super raw, straightforward. Whatever yeah. she, she, she's not right all the time, but no. I like her confidence. She, I've noticed when I watch her videos, she's like quiet not quiet she just says like she's not educated enough on that specific topic yeah when she's asked like a question I respect yeah that. she's up front about it yeah but um <clears throat> okay so we kind of know what where where i'm headed right yep okay if i were to have this conversation maybe four or five years ago i know how i would have responded you know because it where i was mm -hmm. before being married mm-hmm you know, I was serving in the church. I was so involved in the church. You know, I had my beliefs. Is that I would have easily, quickly criticized, judged um, somebody that has the same um, sex preference. Okay. Same sex preference. <clears throat> now, where I am in this place, you know, and I'm, I'm still learning. We're all learning. Yeah. You know, we, we do kind of get it. The world is evolving, so you got to catch up too. Yeah. Doesn't mean we have to agree. Where I was working at this at Floor and Decor at the okay. actual store, yeah, there was, there was like some of the best people that I know. The most kind-hearted, kind-hearted, yeah, not nice, kind-hearted. The most kind-hearted people were same same sex um preference preference yeah same sex like they were attracted to this yeah thing. one of the coolest girls that I know funniest girls um. Um, can I say names? No. Well, one of the, so these, <laughs> okay, this girl that I worked with, and she was so funny. And uh, she one day, um, she's like, you know, Blue, um, I like this girl. He, you know, at the beginning, I was like, oh, shoot. Like, she, she's trusting me to have this conversation. Mm -hmm. She's like, I like this girl. But yeah, she didn't tell me, like, in a way, like, I'm going to tell her to see how she feels about it. No. Um, she told me like, honest, honestly, like you blue, I like this girl, but you know, she was really opening up. And after I started seeing how she was, how, how she treated me as a, as an individual, I had a lot of respect for her. I, mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't care like her sex preference. I did it. No, no, not at all. It's not, it's none of my business. What you do outside of work is up to yeah. you. Um, and <clears throat> without me saying anything like my beliefs, without me talking about my beliefs, without me saying anything about um, what, uh, how I view that, mm -hmm. I, you know, she, she, she was, she trusted me. So I must have did something right, you know, right. like for her to open up. Is the, and not only that, but then she started hitting on me. And then she's like, Blue, you and I should go for some margaritas. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm married, girl. I'm married. <laughs> but um, yeah, and you know, managers there, uh, ops managers, mm -hmm. you know, you start, you start seeing them because you're working with them. You know, if, like I said, if we were having this conversation maybe four or five years ago, uh, I knew where, what I would have said, but I'll tell you why, because I was also living, you know, I wasn't married yeah. and I was working all the time. You know, we worked together. Um, and I was, I had like a certain group, you know, I knew where I was going, like, wherever yeah. like i had my group, schedule yeah the people you were with agreed with everything that yeah you said. yes like you chose like okay these people i wanna we um, all we I all think with, the same what they say i agree with them so i'm gonna hang out with them right and then um also like i would we would work or then then that's when i started branching off and started working at the law firm and then i i worked there then i would go to church and then from church i would come back to the house yeah so it was always just like that my three points Right. Never, never anywhere else. I was never exposed to anything else. Yeah. Um, so, and I needed that. Yep. So once I started working at Floor and Decor, I started seeing, um, I started 
you know, you start seeing all, all these different types of people yeah. uh, that are not like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. different sure. walks of life. Yeah, and I think it's important that we have um, different, we, we ha in our circle, there are different types, um, not, not our circle, but we are surrounded by people that are, yeah. that don't think like you. Yeah. So the girl, okay, this is just an example. The girl that I was working with at Floor and Decor, yeah. that girl, um, later, once I got really comfortable with her, mm -hmm. like we, real comfortable, it, later I just asked her, hey, you know, one, I brought it up, I was like, hey, um, what do you, I just asked her, I was like, hey, do you think I'm, I'm I like, uh, do you think I'm for gay marriage? Like I just straight up asked her oh, because good. we were that that cool. Yeah. She's like, honestly, Blue, I just get you guys had to meet her. She was so funny. She's like, Blue, honestly, I don't really care, and you look like you don't care either. And it made me feel kind of cool when she I said like that. that. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, you kind of look like you don't care. And then she's like, and then I asked her, do you think do you think I'm a Christian? I just asked her like that. She's like, uh, honestly, I just think you look like you believe in something. Like she said that, and okay. she's like, I. Uh, but I don't think that has anything to do with the way you... You view me? Yes, with the w way you view me. So that made me feel really good because I was like, yeah, oh. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, like yeah. she made me... She didn't... Like she didn't put two things together. Like yeah. she just saw that she felt like comfortable with telling me yeah, something. Like, like as a Jesus follower, she didn't feel like attacked. Yeah. She didn't feel like judgment. And I feel... I mean, that's like when I talk to like my... I mean, yeah, like my gay friends. I don't, I don't view them like through a certain lens. Like I don't treat yeah. them differently than I would like, yeah. you know, like a follower of Christ. Just like, like Candace Owens said, like, I'm not looking yeah. at you, you know, through a specific set of lens. Yeah. And yeah. I think, I think that's the way the, the church should view. Uh, I think that should, like, that if should you can't be everyone. Come to, if you can't come to a Jesus follower, you know, where can you go? Yeah. Like, why is it, you can be a murderer, you can be a rapist. And everything's forgiven, but at gay, they draw the line. Why is that? Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't not, I don't like that. Like in, in the mm -hmm. church, it, notice this, like in when it's a big group, like it's like very like the message is toward like mal, mal, pecado, you're going right. to hell. Hey, hold on. You know, like you're going to, but, but when it's an individual, like one-on-one, -on -one, for some reason you have more compassion. Yeah. But if it's like a big group, like it, it, it I, I don't think it's fair, like, 50 people against one person. That's no, you know, and then I was attacking thinking, them. Yeah. And I you feel, know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. What about if you getting jumped by a mob or you getting attacked by dogs and there's a, a una lesbiana right there. Uh, oh no, I, she can't help me. You're not going to, you're not going to care about her, where she is in life. What? Yeah. That's like right. her. No, I need help. Can exactly. you just help me? You think you're going to, you're going to be like, is the, you same sex, you know, like you're not going to be thinking of that. Yeah. You need help. So it, right. your person is a person. So I don't think it's fair when, when like a group of like so many attack one person, that's horrible. But, mm -hmm. um, can I tell y'all something very funny that. Yes. What? Said, oh God. He said, no, cut that part out. But I am. Somebody said, somebody said, Somebody told me that one time um, him and his wife were got picked up by a friend. They uh -huh. have, they have, it's a, it's una pareja and they're friends with otra pareja, you know, a man and a woman. Okay. And we've known this pareja for years. Okay. By the way, y'all know who this pareja is, but this time, uh, this, the couple that we know, well, we both know, we know both couples. Okay. They need, they got invited to a soccer game. And so, but they only had three tickets. So, era solamente el esposo de la otra pareja. Okay. And then this couple, this one couple. Okay. Okay. So, it's just three. So, the, the husband comes and picks up this couple okay. from their house. Okay. So, now they're, it's them three in the car. <laughs> and this is going to be bad. But the <laughs> husband, that's, you know, the husband's driving and he gets a call and it's on Bluetooth and oh, he right. answers oh, and he's in the other person on the line you know so it's three people okay hold up there's three people in the yeah, car you're, you're yeah yeah me okay no no i'm with you i'm with you three people in the car um 
One is una pareja is the that we the, know. The couple is the we, one we know both the couples. One, yeah. We know the, both couples. The first the one but that the, told her, yeah. The couple is the one that's telling you this is what Yes. Yeah, this okay. yes. Happened. And then it's the husband from the other couple. Yeah. Okay. The guy. Yeah, the driver. Okay, so he's driving. <laughs> and then he gets a call and then you know, and obviously the other couple out of respect, mm -hmm. they stay quiet, you know. Mm -hmm. the, call, when you answer a call, I'm just going to say you have to say Hey, you're on speaker, you're on speaker. You're uh -huh. hey, too quickly. especially this one call that this person received okay so the husband this husband the husband from the other couple receives a call in the call um clearly it's a guy and the guy's like hola mi amor ay dios <laughs> oh no <clears throat> and then the guy was like hey hola como estas hey, hey aquí ando con unos con unos amigos and the The, the couple that was telling me this said that he, the other person on the line, the guy that said, hola, mi amor, mm -hmm. um, quickly changed his tone. Ooh. It was like, um, oh, hey, eh, I was just calling to let you know. And like the conversation <laughs> changed. And and that couple looked at each other and they were like, oh, shoot, what just happened? And this couple, so wait, hold up. But this couple, that the cup, that one couple. You confronted yeah. him? No, no, the this the driver, couple, the driver and his wife okay. that we know, known them forever. They're known in the church. Wow, they're oh. known as like eh, la pareja. Eh, What do I feel like? Some, I heard this story. I feel like I heard this story this, too. This this couple that's like an example, <sighs> and little does the wife know that he has un amor on the side. <laughs> <laughs> un amor, and it's the same sex. Okay, so. Eh, oh. I was having this conversation with a cousin and we, we came, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of yeah. men and women in the church that have, uh, that have the same sex, you know, desire. Desire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and I, feel, I mean, it's tough. It's a tough conversation, yeah. but it, they're also decisions. They're Absolutely. decisions. They're decisions that, um, you either like, I mean, you either, Like just aguantarte and just be with the opposite sex and just yeah. try to find happiness in that. Or like Paul said, just stay single. Just stay single. Just stay single. There's people I've heard um, podcasts when um, a guy is he's a Jesus follower, he's Christian, and he really does want to do. He does want to follow Jesus, and the Bible says like you cannot be gay. Like it says like a marriage is between a woman and a man. Like Adam and Eve, they were like the ideal couple, or whatever. But, a marriage. Um, you said a marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the Bible says. A marriage. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Okay. I got something to say yeah, about yeah. that. That's a marriage. Okay. Um, because if if it's not if if two like it says like if a girl and a girl are married, like the Bible doesn't see it. God doesn't see it as a, a marriage. A covenant or whatever. Yeah. He doesn't see it as a marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shoot, I lost my train of thought. What was I Ooh. Well, I was gonna add, like, I think Where so I I don't okay. agree. Huh? Where was I going? I was going with something. Some you heard somebody in a podcast. Well, oh, 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 okay. I remember. Mm -hmm. uh, he had, he was, he knew that, um, he's learned that a marriage is between a man and a woman. So he just said, like, he still has these desires to be with a man. He, like, he wants to be with a man, but he knows if he follows this religion, like, he cannot be with a man. But he says, like, that's just going to be his, his, like, struggle for the rest of his life. Mm. Like, he prefer not to get married because why would you just get married to somebody that can hurt them later yeah if you really don't love them like mm. if, but but uh jackie hill perry she's oh, a yeah. lesbian she has she had an attraction for her husband and she they got so many kids um, <laughs> i mean i'm sure she still battles with it I, i mean i don't know but um i don't know i don't know it's a tough conversation. yeah it's a tough conversation but i think I don't, I do not believe, um, people are born that way. Oh, I was going to say, something I do about not this. believe that that's my belief. Um, because I do believe we're all born with the, um, like susceptibility to sin. I do believe that, but I, I think that some, um, may, maybe somehow, and I've had this conversation with my husband, some people are born with, um, like a bigger susceptibility. Um, like, you know, like we're all born to sin. Like, you know, the kids, baby, 
you know, kids, uh, they're, they don't want to share their toys. The first thing they learn is meal, meal, mine, 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 yeah. right? We're selfish. We're arrogant. You know, we're humans. We're all susceptible to sin. But I feel like others are, um, I guess, more susceptible. Yeah. I keep saying that word, but um, that's think- just my thought. But I, I think it's still, I don't think you're born that way. Yeah. That's and what I you, believe. And if you were born again, born that way, be born again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, born, again, born again. Oh, I cannot say it in the lava. Oh, no, 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 no. That's I a good song. Say. No, no but I also think curiosity pl- plays a I big agree. role. Also, uh, gonna, like past trauma. I was going to say that, like something um, something could happen when they were kids. Yeah, that certain situations. It, um, people when they're uh, molested. Like molested it, they it changes the way they think. Like no, I like if a girl is molested, she thinks like I never want to be with a man. This was so traumatizing. I don't want to be with men. I I need somebody that's gonna care for me, and then they go look for feminine energy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the there's one artist that I I really admire, um, and she that's what she said. She was married for a couple years, but she said she was treated wrong, and she said she didn't want to put up with any man ever again. So she you know she transferred. Mm, she transferred. Yeah. She transferred <laughs> to the other team. She's rooting for the other team now, <laughs> and now she's married to a woman. Um. Yeah, I think also curiosity plays a big role. Yeah. L- like just like the woman that didn't, mm-hmm. maybe maybe like there's young girls that are like, oh man, they've been so heartbroken by so many guys mm-hmm. and they're, they don't ever want to get hurt by a guy anymore. So they're like, okay, look, I don't have many options with guys, which we have a lot of options. And then right. they're like, well, I'm just going to try it with the girl because uh well we'll think the same you know we're the yeah. same sex so mm-hmm. she probably understands my my feelings yeah, and yeah. i understand her feelings it's just gonna work out mm-hmm. curiosity so and we don't we know we know no, so many people that me. that like growing up you you know you don't you don't even think of that at all and now as adults right. now they're you know they're it, yeah. it, they're living their life what you gonna say like estás, estás mal. Estás mal. No. Like, you got other other yeah. problems to you gotta i gotta pay my bills yeah no i don't have time to judge you i really don't like, who <laughs> are we no to time. judge and Honestly. why do you have why do i have time to like corregirte? you know what that's, that's up to brain. you i'm that's I'm, you that's your life that's your walk with christ like, like uh or not yeah or, or they not, may not have a walk or with, may not they may not i mean I, i'm trying to get to heaven it's already hard for me to try to get to heaven <laughs> like I, it's gonna be a tough i'm worried one. about myself yeah uh-uh, i ain't got time for this <laughs> i'm living my own little war <laughs> Yeah, so este, I like what Candace Owens said that we can be, we can be, we can form a relationship on the base of, uh, of the, of your being in, like as an individual. As an individual, right? I don't, I don't care if you. We're gonna make a business deal and it involves a million dollars. I I don't, don't care your sexuality. Care. I don't care. <laughs> I I just want the million dollars. <laughs> like that's that might solve some of. Some of my problems. Some of your problems. <laughs> so this is this is what I think about this whole topic. Hey, I'm lesbian. I thought you were American. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> it's Vine. <laughs> I miss Vine. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> That's what I have to say. The greatest lesson I've learned is you gotta learn. The it's so important to learn, but it's also so important to unlearn things. Okay, yeah. I like that because I, I love that. I used to always think the same thing too. Like, you cannot like the same person. You can the same sex. Um, that's not my journey. We're all in our own journeys. We're all uh, learning things, and I'm also unlearning. I'm, that's I'm, right. I'm accepting. I'm starting to accept things that I have learned that were wrong. I right. I believe it, I, I'm I'm not God. I'm I'm really I'm That's I don't not my think job. the same way as God. I I don't. I mean, I would like to, but I don't much. know Perfect. everything. Yeah. Right. If if I was if I was to judge everybody, I think I would go crazy. <laughs> you know, I would just. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about it so many things at once. I think we have to give. It's everybody hard enough grace. already. Yeah. There's yeah. so Extend many. Extend grace. All on, we're all on our on our own journeys. Because it is, uh, again, because it is June, mm-hmm. um, I want to say this. I want to include myself in we are in the human race. Mm-hmm. We are yeah. doing the human. T- this is uh, it's, all, it's tough to be a human 
you know it is yeah. you know we got we got our tasks so i know that um <clears throat> it, i think about those that like come out they're mm -hmm. like oh i came out uh i know that's also tough it's tough to actually mm -hmm. bring that bring their secret out you know uh something that they've been you Feeling, know yeah, yeah. so hard. talking about it is good too so um for everybody uh in the community uh i do i will say that hey you guys are coming out with y'all talking about tough conversations and y'all are the ones experiencing it mm -hmm. we i can't experience it because i don't know what that's like but i do applaud those those in the community that actually talk about it yes yeah, yeah. we're just honest honestly mm -hmm. because why why i it, it makes no sense that we have to say okay you're you're in a box you're you're yeah. in the you're under this group. Gay group no even them they don't even think of each other the same they could be thinking uh one can be racist one can be Wait, pro hold up. life pro choice why do we have to say no nope, you're gay no and you kind of need yeah. you, you kind of need a little gay friend around because they always They're tell you no honestly i've never had I've never had a gay or lesbian person say that I was ugly. Listen. <laughs> and, they and they will they tell you the truth. Always, I'm they, not going to lie. They're, they're always are, the best dress. They're, they're, they'll tell you, uh-uh. That, well, that I, I thought I was the best dress, girl. No, they'll, they'll straight up say, like, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. this looks good. What other offer you got? You know, what yeah, that's right. What well, else you got? You got anything else? else? Options, yeah. You yeah. Anything else? So you they're do kind of have one, need to have one around. One around will tell you the truth. So thank you for that, though. Yeah. But I'm so glad that I'm learning things. Oh, okay, ma. <laughs> no, it's en plena no, grabación, no, señora. Yeah, yeah. And she just walks away. Yeah, well, sí. no, this, I, is, this is this is this is un, uh, the unbothered I'm trying to be. Yeah, terminada. Yeah, terminada. Yeah. Uh, las tortas están listas is the better <laughs> question. <'cause laughs> she, be she better have those ready. <laughs> yeah. But uh, thank you for joining us. This what? Well, let's talk about a part two. Oh or something. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like we need to keep going <gasps> on this topic. Oh yeah, yeah. No, we're not done. No, no, no. We got to keep going. I was but say, how about yeah. next time we, we bring one of our friends? Let's bring one of our friends. And I, I want to know, like, more into y'all's perspectives, too. Like, oh, yeah. We not... you know, like, what if one of your kids We haven't even... Yeah, that's a good question. We haven't even made a dent. We got more to talk about. Yeah, yeah this and we, is deep. We said nothing. We said nothing. We, said nothing. we, we barely touched the surface. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you guys have anything fun this week? Coming up? Yes. I'm going to Playa. We, your suegra's here? My suegra's here. Oh, yeah. Her suegra's here. My heart I love is your complete. suegra. She's so cool. She, um... What what did you say the other day that you were like um, that you sh you told her? What you showed her that. Oh, le enseñé un video que realmente we cannot post. I'm yeah, so we sorry. cannot post. Yeah, that's, that's only so between us. But but I sent it to my suegra and my suegra is like, ay, como me cae bien la bra. Como me cae bien la bra. And it's not bra. something you would want to show your suegra. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, ay, como me cae bien. <laughs> Yeah, but I have my six week uh checkup on Wednesday. And you looking better than ever. Thanks, girl. mama. Yes. Yeah. We try. It's so funny seeing you not pregnant. Not pregnant. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Blues was not for me. Blues up there. Blues. Blues I was almost you, Blue, I was like, pop. how does it feel? How does <laughs> it feel that in, in like three months, less than three months, we're all gonna treat you just the same. But yeah, like I was telling Brown get this special privilege. She gets I no never, special I, treatment. Nah, I didn't I didn't get no special from treatment. From your husband? Oh, I mean aside from him. Nah, I need no. Not Niel, right? no, 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 but I think it's because you're careful, so it's just like it's okay, blue got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for joining us. Uh stay tuned for our next one. Oh, we're gonna have a vlog yeah. up next, so uh, stay tuned for that one. Stay, stay tuned for that, for that one. E yeah, and let's talk about this more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Leave I us like some comments. comments. I feel like this is like a topic where it's like you're either one or the other. You love them or you yeah. like it. I love I love humans. Please don't attack us. We're super neutral right now. Yeah. I'm super, like, I'm trying to get myself, myself I, I'm worried about to myself the gates for, of heaven. That's right. <laughs> yeah. For real. I'm, don't, don't worry. Don't look this way. I'm trying to <laughs> get this baby out, you know? Yeah. Pero bueno. Yeah, I'm but, ready for that. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't miss the new vlog. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this video. We already have, I think, 130. 31. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. I love you Big wins. Well. I really, really do appreciate it. <laughs> All right, but tune in or get tuned out. Bye. Gooses. Bye. I really do love you guys.